Hi, welcome back. Welcome back to Escape Forever Free. I'm your girl, Faith. Here we are stepping out with faith to restore physical, mental, spiritual, and social wholeness. If you're coming to us for the first time, a very special welcome to Escape Forever Free. If you are a returning visitor or a subscribed member, an extra, extra special welcome back to Escape. This is our one hour alone time kickstart devotional. We are at day four of the same. We hope that you will grab your 1888 edition of A Great Controversy, the book that we are been guided by in this season of our one hour alone time kickstart devotional guide, as well as your King James edition of the Bible. We aim here that you choose, we encourage you rather that you choose your best sacrificial time for the day or the week ahead. Turn up at that time as consistently as you can. You start out watching this video presentation, which pushes you into continuing thereafter for one hour with you and God alone. We are your little accountability partner. If you do choose to have such support, we encourage you to prayerfully consider staying with us, subscribing to our channel, and truly building this healthy habit because healthy habits form healthy characters and we truly want and need of course to be made perfect to be reunited to be reunited with jesus christ our lord and savior and god our father let us now go into prayer and continue into our one hour alone time kickstart devotional routine father we thank you for taking us here safely please guide us and lead us Please give us wisdom because we do not have of our own. We pray that all who here desires to have it may receive it. We also beg for the forgiveness of our sins as we repent before you. We pray for the outpouring of your early rain. We beg that if in any way we are unprepared to receive it, that through your Holy Spirit you will guide us into full position to receive the early rain. We beg that in the time of the latter rain, if we are alive and running that we will be among those who receive it because we would have been preparing from now keep us faithful to the end we beg in Jesus' name amen all right we go now into our memory text this week memory text comes to us from saint matthew sorry from isaiah 49 and verse 6 and it reads and he said it is a light matter that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel, I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. Again, Isaiah 49 and verse 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I will also give thee for a light to the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation unto the end of the earth. We truly pray God help us to commit this text to memory to be able to use it in due season to glorify his name and to edify souls including our very own souls we're going to pick up at chapter 409 sorry at page 419.3 of chapter 23 in the great controversy so please grab your 1888 edition of the book as well as your king james version of the bible and let us go all right so it says here the whole ceremony was designed, of course, we're talking about the sanctuary um, worship, the sanctuary um, ministration on earth. And of course, we look at the heavenly sanctuary in that same light as to the fact that the earthly sanctuary was pointing us to the heavenly sanctuary. And of course, much of the ritual pointed to um, essentially to Jesus Christ the propitiation for our sin all right so let us read the whole ceremony was designed to impress the israelites with the holiness of god and his abhorrence of sin and further to show them that they that they could not come in contact with sin without becoming polluted now every man was required to afflict his soul while this work of atonement was going forward 
all businesses all business rather was to be laid aside and the whole congregation that would mean you're to comment every family in Israel the whole congregation of Israel were to spend the day in solemn humiliation before God with prayer fasting and deep searching of heart important truths concerning the atonement are taught by the typical service a substitute was accepted in sinner's stead but the sin was not cancelled by the blood of the victim a means was thus provided by which it was transferred to the sanctuary now by the offering of blood the sinner acknowledged the authority of the law confessed this confessed his guilt in transgression and express the authority of the law sorry and express his desire for pardon through faith in a redeemer to come but he was not yet entirely released from the condemnation of the law now on the day of atonement the high priest having taken an offering from the congregation went into the most holy place with the blood of this offering and sprinkled it upon the mercy seat directly over the law to make satis to make satisfaction for its claims then in his character in his character of mediator he took upon the head sorry he took his sins upon he took the sins upon himself and bore them from the sanctuary placing his hands upon the head of this scapegoat then and there he confessed over him that is the scapegoat all these sins thus it was by that means in figure transferring the sins from himself to the goat the goat then bore them away and they were regarded as forever separated from the people so we see the process there of the sanctification and the um the remission of sins that were practiced um in expectation as to what would happen when Jesus Christ would come as our ultimate sacrifice and there would no be no further need for blood to be spilled but there and until then the high priest represented um Christ who um would receive the sins of the people and would transfer them to the scapegoat which represents the ultimate um what should we call it the ultimate um death of sin where sins are truly forgiven and they're taken away from us forever which is the experience that we are working towards and looking forward to in the final judgment we will stop here for today let's now go to our meditational hymn as we bring this segment to a close and of course you will continue for one hour all right so our meditational hymn number 402 cover with his life number 412 we're gonna do stanza three Long in the joy of pardon to know, Jesus holds out a robe white as snow. Lord, I accept it, leaving my own. Gladly I'll wear thy pure life alone. Covered with his life, whiter than snow, the fullness of his life. Then shall I know my life of scarlet, my sin and woe. Cover with his life whiter than snow praise the lord let us pray father thank you for your blood spilled for us thank you for the forgiveness of sins help us to live the victorious life because truly 
the price has been paid. Help us not to wallow and slumber in pity and and defeat, but help us to truly grasp the victory that has been gained for us through the precious blood and life of Jesus Christ, our Savior. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let the words of our mouths and the meditation of our hearts be known always acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, our strength and our redeemer. Please continue now for one hour, you and God alone, and stick to the Bible, your blueprint into the new Jerusalem. See you in our next video. God bless you.